what is going on guys this is your boy pan In today's video i want to show you how i implement on-page seo by using elementor and rank math seo right so if you're familiar with wordpress and you do any type of seo you know you're probably one of those yoast seo fans right and i used to be myself until i kind of switched over to rank math and really i found that it was way more convenient simply because it integrates with elementor so you can kind of use it at the same time that you're actually building out a website right which makes it very convenient since you don't have to kind of go back and forth um, between, you know, doing your Yoast and then going back to changing your actual on-page stuff, right? So I kind of want to show you, first of all, why on-page SEO is so, so important, right? And it's really nothing crazy, nothing new. Um, it's really the same old techniques that have been working, you know, for years and years. Um, but it's really important, you know, that you do implement on-page um, especially if you're doing, you know, any type of blogging, you want to make sure that these blogs are optimized well enough so that they can rank, right? You want to make sure that you're bringing in as much traffic as you can from this assistant content, right? So here I have an article that I wrote about a month ago. This is about actually a affiliate product. And you can see here that, you know, we're ranking number one, uh, for, you know, it's review search term. And, you know, I've been able to do this with quite a bit of other blogs. So if I do HRT costs, you know, we have this snippet right here. Um, if I do, let's see, I think we are ranking for this as well. Uh, see right here, we're in third, third place, right? And then I also think we're ranking for, let me do homeo pathy versus holistic i think we're ranking on here um so we're in second place right here so you can see you know we are ranking very well in a competitive niche right we're in the medical niche so you know we're we're going to get some pretty big websites here um so let me go ahead and pull up my wordpress account so if you don't already have rank math right the first thing you would want to do is install it and just in case, you know, you do want to try it out, I highly recommend you. Not only is it pretty much the same as Yoast SEO on terms of functionality, but you can also implement local business schema um, that you can get from Yoast, right? And this is completely free. Um, so if you do want to try it out, I highly recommend you guys to try it out. So this would be the one you would, you know, install and make sure to activate it and i personally use elementor you know as my page builder so if you guys don't have elementor you know you would just go ahead and do a search and it would be this one right here you know it's pretty popular five plus million installations um so let me go ahead and go into my actual post so this is the post that i'm going to show you you know kind of step by step each each optimization that you need to do regarding your on page right so first of all you know before doing any type of content you're gonna have to go in into your keyword research phase right any seo campaign always starts off by doing keyword research so here's pretty much a broad term that we'd ideally want to rank for right so it's the product's name is axio and then the company is live vantage so we can see here that it gives us a kd of two and a search volume of 200 right so this is not a bad keyword to want to rank for right but the way you find out other you know keyword opportunities so you can see i threw in our url into ahrefs and you can see all the different keywords that we're ranking for right um so we have you know axio energy energy drink reviews uh we have you know just axio drink high vantage price, you know, ingredients, drinks in powder form, and all these other review, you know, different variations, right? So we have quite a bit of keywords that we're ranking for just from this one blog post, right? And you can see we're ranking pretty good position, right? You know, a lot of these are on the first page. Um, and you can see that, you know, some of these are in position three. And again, this isn't always accurate. So we might be a little bit higher on these, 
But the point is that you can rank for many, many different keywords just by, you know, doing your keyword research correctly. And the way I usually do this is, you know, first you put in a broader keyword that you would want to rank for. And once you get this, you can go into all keyword ideas. And what I like to do here is I first like to filter by KD, right? So first of all, you want to make sure that you're targeting a keyword that is in within your range. Um, so we have a DA right around like 10. So, you know, we want to stay in between that one to 15 range. So I'm going to do minimum zero max 15, right? This is going to filter out all the keywords that would be, you know, pretty difficult for us to try to rank for, right? Once we get this, we want to narrow it down to our actual topic, right? So we can go over to include and I'm going to include, going to do any word and then I'm going to include Axio. And let's see what comes up. This should filter it down, right? So we get a more accurate list of different keywords that we can plug into our article or blog, you know, in order to rank for, you know, multiple keywords, right? In the same article. And this also gives you ideas of what you can talk about, right? So you can see here, you know, it has ingredients. So we know we can talk about the ingredients, um, you know, review, right? So we can kind of, we know that this is actually looking, you know, as a product review, right? And then we have price, another good keyword that we could use. Uh, let's go down. So, so that looks like, you know, this gives us a pretty good idea of other questions that we could answer and other keywords that we can plug in, right? So this is pretty much what you would do. Just make sure you filter by the KD to make sure it's in your range and then narrow it down further by including, you know, a keyword or key topic that you want to talk about, right? So let's go back to our article. So first of all, let me show you how, you know, rank math actually integrates, right? So rank math is pretty much integrated with Elementor, right? So usually it just says elements global. And then we have this extra tab that says SEO on it, right? And this is kind of where you can actually, you know, optimize pretty much the title tag and the description and the URL. And then you can also put in your focus keyword and it'll give you, you know, the suggestions right now. Of course, you don't actually have to do each and every one of these optimizations because, you know, really it's unnecessary sometimes and other times it's nearly impossible to, you know, get completely green all the time. So, you know, it's not very necessary to get, um, you know, like a hundred percent. You can see I'm 79 out of a hundred, but we're ranking just fine. Right. So you kind of just want to take these and kind of make sure you do the, the important ones. Right. And we all know that the title is very important. So we do have, you know, our keywords in it, which is the name of the product. And then we have energy drink review. Right. And then we have benefits and ingredients just because, you know, this is would be more enticing rather than if it was just Axio live vantage energy drink review. Right. This kind of letting them know what they can expect to see in the article. Right. So that's pretty much the number one. Whenever you're first optimizing is choose choose a title that has your main keyword in it and then in include, you know, a couple other words that would make it more enticing for someone to want to click on it. Right. And then we move into the H1 and usually the H1 is always going to be pretty much the same as the title. Right. And this is because we want to keep things consistent between the title and the H1 tag. So don't be alarmed if you have, you know, two H1s, it doesn't really matter. It's not going to make or break your article, right? We just want to make sure we keep things consistent because the title and the H1 are probably the most important regarding your on page, right? And then, you know, your H2, your H3 and so forth can be related words, right? So let's go back up. So now that we have the title and the H1, you usually want to include your keyword again at the beginning of the paragraph right and you can see that we have you know our keyword right here right and we do have it hyperlinking back to the company website right we have it linking back to livevantage.com 
So if we scroll down, you know, we can find that we did include, you know, other related questions regarding the product that we're talking about, right? It's really nothing crazy. It's really just, you know, including as much value as you can around that topic, right? Any other relevant questions about a certain topic, you wanna make sure you cover it, especially if you find those related keywords in something like Ahrefs or SEMrush or whatever keyword research tool you use, right? So now that we have, you know, the title, the H1s, uh, the keyword at the beginning of our of our, the paragraph, and we have our assisting headers, right? Another thing that you do want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure you're outer linking to other reputable sources, right? You can see here that we're linking out to, you know, a medicalnewstoday.com, which is a reputable, another reputable website, right, around the medical industry and whatnot. Uh, you just want to make sure you know you're linking out to other reputable sources simply because this helps google identify you know that you kind of know what you're talking about it's kind of reinforcing that you you kind of an authoritative and an expert around the certain topic right and this is very important if you're in you know industries like medical industry or lawyer or you know finances and whatnot because google is really looking for experts around those topics. So it's very important, right? If you're talking about like health and stuff like that to have, you know, reputable resources to back up your information. Um, so you can do this, you know, several times depending on the length of your content, you know, don't overdo it either. Um, but it's very important to, you know, one outer link and then interlink to your own website, wherever it would make sense, right? And you can see that we're again talking about, you know, other questions that somebody could have, right? What are the benefits of the product? Then we have how to use the product, right? And these are other, other headers, right? So this would be your H1, then you could have, you know, your H2, this would be your H3, and then these are sub topics, right? Because we're talking about ingredients. So each one of these would be a H4, right? You would make all these an H4, and then you can make this an H5 and then H6, right? And it's really, that's where it kind of stops. So you would have to, you know, continue using an H6 more than likely. But again, you know, we're taking keywords that we found and just plugging them into the headers and answering them, right? And that's pretty much it, guys. Another thing with on-page, if you can find a video from YouTube, go ahead and plug that into your article simply because it's going to help you know, bring that relevancy, especially from YouTube, since Google does own YouTube, they like to see videos from YouTube on articles, right? It's helping reinforce, you know, your topic. If, if you're plugging in videos from, you know, a reputable resource, right? Not only does it have, you know, keywords in the topic, but it's also from a reputable channel, right? So that's pretty much the main important things, guys. Um, the one thing that you do want to do with, you know, rank math is you want to make sure your title tag and your meta description is good to go. And that's pretty much just the same thing, including the keyword in the title, right? I would say the title is, is very important when it comes to on page. So you do want to make sure you're including, you know, your keyword. Um, and again, make it enticing to a visitor, right? This is the first thing that someone will see when they're doing it a search on Google, right? So you do want to make sure that you're making enticing for them to click on your listing over the competitors. And then in the URL, again, you want to include your keyword in this, right? Nothing crazy. And then for the description, I actually don't even have a description in there right now. Um, I should probably do that, right? But the description isn't really that important. Uh, it's more important for a, a visitor that's searching on Google. Um, but most of the time, if you don't have a description, Google just pulls it from your actual content, right? So I'm just going to leave that uh, as it is for now, but I probably will come back later on and probably create a description for that. Um, again, you know, Google has stated that they don't use the description uh, as a ranking factor, right? You know, but you want to go ahead and, you know, make a unique description if it's possible for each single blog post, right? So that's pretty much it regarding the SEO side of it on rank math, right? And again, you know, you can pay attention to these if you want, but like I said, as long as you're hitting, you know, the major ones, the title tag, the header tags, 
the inner linking, the outer linking, um, you're going to be good to go, right? Let me go ahead and show you one last thing, right? And this is regarding the featured image that you include on your actual post. And this is going to be found right here. So if we click on this, we can see that it's actually titled, right? I saved the image with the keyword in it, right? You can see here we have the exact keyword in the title tag. And then again, in the alt text, and I want to get, I went ahead and put it in the caption and the description, but as long as you know, it has it in the title and the alt text, you should be good to go guys. And the reason you want to do this is because it can also show up on a Google search, right? As you can see here, this is our picture, right? It's, it's right in the ranking in the second position, right? So this is why it's also very important to make sure you optimize your images because they can show up you know, on the image search, right? Very important. Another good tip to do on the regular, right? And that's pretty much all you have to do guys when it comes to on-page SEO. Like I said, Elementor and Rank Math makes it very easy for you to go in there and optimize your articles, your content, your service pages, pretty easy. This is why I do recommend, you know, Rank Math simply because you don't have to be going, you know, back and forth as you would on Yoast, right? pretty much lets you do it all at the same time. Very useful guys. And like I said, do your keyword research before starting any type of content. It's very important to be able to, you know, grab as many keywords that you can rank for in the same article and the same piece of content, right? That's pretty much it guys for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.